Uniswap, SushiSwap, eat your heart out. Komodo is getting ready to go DeFi with the most advanced DEX that's currently available. And that's one of the things that I'm going to be talking about in this video. It's time to look at Komodo and what is happening with Komodo, quarter four 2020 roadmap and what's to come. Now, before I continue, please subscribe, follow me on Twitter, CryptoRichYT, join my Telegram announcements channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, come over to BitTube because I post my videos on BitTube first. Whether you're on BitTube or on YouTube, please do comment, please do like, please do subscribe, please click the notification bell and click all to make sure you're getting notifications of when my videos come out. I've been following the Komodo project for a couple of years now. I hold KMD coins. I think it's a fabulous project with some unbelievable, amazing technology. And I think the tragedy with Komodo is that more people don't know about it. Also, the wonderfulness about Komodo is it spawned Pirate Chain, which I'm involved in, and Veriscoin, which I'm also involved in. If you want to know which cryptocurrencies or altcoins to invest in for long term, medium term, or short term, or to trade in, then take a look at Token Metrics. Token Metrics uses artificial intelligence based crypto indices, rankings, and price predictions to give you the best possible altcoins and cryptocurrencies to hodl or trade with. Use my affiliate code for a massive 10% off and three months free on the yearly plan. Link in the description below. Komodo is one of the members of the BPSAA, Blockchain Privacy Security Adoption Alliance, along with Pirate Chain, Ether One, Ergo, Sentinel, and Turtle Network. So let's go through this. Komodo has made a lot of progress towards development and marketing objectives so far this year. These efforts are leading up to a major milestone for Komodo, the stable beta release of the Atomic DEX by the end of quarter four. So what is the Atomic DEX? So the Atomic DEX is a decentralized exchange, fully peer-to-peer, -peer, true atomic swap. So what that means is I can send you Digibyte and you can you send me Komodo or ETH or Bitcoin and the transaction either goes through for both of us or it goes through for neither of us. And there's no third party, there's no counterparty, it's not an Escrow service. It is a true atomic swap with one coin going to another, fully decentralized. It works on mobile, Android and iOS, and there's also a desktop app. So throughout 2020, CA333 Kedan and his team of Komodo developers have focused on major tech sprints for the development of Atomic Dex. And the result has led to a feature rich user experience for both Atomic Dex desktop, which I prefer, and the Atomic Dex mobile. Thanks to improvements made in quarter three, both apps now include an interface for tracking coins in the non-custodial wallet, drop down UX rich menus for selecting your trading pairs, and a native embedded candlestick chart interface for tracking the market values of, selecting, of selected trading pairs. Last but not least, an API price aggregator provides a measure of how close or far the trades on atomic DEX are compared to major centralized exchanges. So this is a DEX, but it's a true atomic swap DEX. You know, Uniswap is a DEX, TronSwap is a DEX. Fork Delta is a DEX, but they are only for coins and tokens within a particular chain. So Uniswap is only for Ethereum and ERC20. Fork Delta is only for Ethereum and ERC20. TronSwap is just for Tron coins and tokens. The Komodo Atomic DEX is cross-chain. They're going to be adding greater cross-chain functionalities as time goes on. So let's look at some of the upgrades that are coming in quarter four. Users will soon be able to place multiple swap orders against a single digital asset using the OCO liquidity multiplier feature. For example, users will be able to swap against KMD, ETH, BAT, VRC as a limit order using just one KMD. Whichever order gets filled first cancels all the other order, orders on the book. Async, now before this upgrade, Atomic Dex desktop requires synchronization, meaning the app itself is only able to do one thing at a time. For example, you have to wait until the rewards claiming process is complete before you can make a new atomic swap. After the async upgrade, the backend finishes the process while the user can go about making a new swap on the DEX. Similarly, there is a UX UI enhancement that shows the last balance locally when the app opens. These improvements provide a smoother UX for desktop traders. Custom ERC20 tokens. 
Even if an ERC20 token isn't listed in Atomic Dex, it will soon be possible to add it as a custom asset. For hodlers, this means you will now have a non-custodial wallet in which you can securely store any ERC20 token and be able to make atomic swaps directly on Atomic Dex against both listed assets and other custom assets. Now, what is meant by non-custodial is that I'm not giving away my private keys or my tokens for somebody else to hold. I retain ownership of the private keys on the Atomic Swap platform, on the Atomic Dex platform. In quarter four, we will make a special partnership announcement that will be combined with an Atomic Dex integration. This project is a major player in the DeFi space. Now, I have no idea what this project is. If you have any idea, let me know in the description, in your comments, right? Which player could this be? What do you think it is? Or who would you like it to be? Atomic Dex path to stable beta release. In quarter four, both Atomic Dex trading experiences mobile and desktop are being brought into beta release. The path for quarter four will lead both interfaces to a stable beta where we feel almost any user should be able to onboard easily and use these products as opposed to just our tech savvy or community enthusiasts who follow our releases very closely. So they're gonna make it easier for non-enthusiasts or non-KMD heads to use the Atomic Dex. Here are three milestones you can look forward to and get involved with throughout the rest of 2020. So one of them is the Atomic Dex version 0.3 initial beta release. I am looking forward to that because I've used the Atomic Dex application on the desktop and also the mobile, and I just think it's completely brilliant. There's going to be a stress test after the beta release, and there will be rewards for those that participate in testing the limits of our desk swaps, of our DEX swaps. The development team has built a highly scalable trading solution and is ready to test it in the wild. The exact details of the public stress test will be released during quarter four. So join our community hub on Komodo Discord or watch our social media channels and email announcement for more info on how you can participate. Now, the stable beta release version 0.4 is planned for the end of quarter four, just in time for Christmas. Kadana and his development team of Komodo have been able to achieve remarkable progress towards this milestone, especially considering Atomic Dex desktop version 0.1.1.2 first debuted in April 2020. Not bad going. Once this release goes live, Komodo will ramp up marketing activities around both Atomic Dex desktop and mobile. And the long term goal is to boost liquidity for supported trading pairs after Atomic Dex is stable. At that time, we'll be in a good position to generate user growth. Oh, good. I look forward to that. There's certain, there's a particular token that is only really available on Fork Delta, and I would love for that to be available in the Atomic Dex, and then for more people to know about it, because I'll actually be able to buy it from Atomic Dex versus going through the ordeal of using Fork Delta. Quarter four, marketing fo focus. Ordo and his marketing team at Komodo have already set the foundation for quarter four marketing efforts. The overarching theme will be to make Komodo more accessible to people throughout the entire crypto space. Here are a few tasks going on that will enable the marketing team to accomplish this goal. Branding improvements. Following a recent community discussion on Discord, we started a process to review and restructure Komodo's branding. And the goal being to ensure that the entire Komodo community is on the same page in terms of how we talk about our terminology, current trajectory, and future goals. This will enable everyone, people who are just finding out about Komodo for the first time, all the way to the established long-standing community members to better understand how the Komodo ecosystem and portfolio of products fit together. Now they're having a series of open discussions regarding branding and other marketing matters on Discord, and I welcome, I invite you to go and join these and become a part of shaping Komodo's future through community feedback. Become a part of shaping Komodo's future through community feedback as we work more and more to integrate the community as part of the Komodo team. In quarter three, Komodo began what can best be described as a social media revival. We wanted to create a culture of experimentation and embrace failure if it leads to learning. In practice, this means that we're willing to take risks to re-engage our audience. Since implementing this philosophy in late quarter three, our social media metrics surpassed expectations. As shown in the screenshot below, recent engagement trends on Komodo Twitter are quite promising. Read the full Twitter report for September here. Now, I shall link to this in the description below, and you can check it out for yourself. But there's more followers, more mentions, more profile visits, more impressions, and more tweets. In quarter four, we will implement new weekly habits and rituals that lower the barrier to entry of knowing what's happening on Komodo's various social media channels. 
and the larger strategy includes an expanded budget for social media activities and new marketing campaigns in which community members will have the chance to earn rewards for active participation. Now, what about after quarter four? Here's a sneak peek at 2021. We've started a rough draft for the Komodo 2021 roadmap. Although we're still concreting the exact details, we already internally have a high level strategy in place. In 2021, Komodo will place a major emphasis on onboarding new developers and building products that developers can use. As recently stated on Twitter, Komodo builds for rebuildability. Our long-term vision is to be the ultimate cross-protocol platform for all things DeFi. We aim to provide developers with the infrastructure necessary to launch decentralized applications for derivatives, synthetic, synthetic assets, non-fungible tokens, real-world assets, and much, much more. We'll also be making an announcement at the end of quarter four regarding a new release that is separate from the Atomic Dex mobile desktop releases. If you think you have a guess, if you think you have some idea, go to the Komodo Discord and let them know. This is something that the entire Komodo community will be anxiously waiting for once we announce the news. Stay tuned for more details. And if you want to try out the Atomic Dex on Windows, Mac, Linux, or on Android, or the iOS version, you can do so through here. It's all linked here. I do recommend it. It is very, very easy to use and intuitive and very well designed and is a good example of the kind of technology that is typical of the Komodo developers. Remember, and it was Komodo that gave us Pirate Chain, the most secure and private of all the cryptocurrencies going. And that came about because a few developers were thinking about wondering, is it possible for every single transaction peer-to-peer -peer transaction to be shielded by ZK Snarks? Oh, it is, and thus Pirate Chain was born. Okay, that's it on that. Let me know what you think. Have you tried out the Atomic Dex? Are you part of the Komodo community? I expect you probably are. And if you're not, go join the Discord group, go join the Telegram group, go find out some more, do your undue diligence, check it out. And between now and when I see you next, please keep filling your pockets with Crypto Profits. This is Crypto Rich signing out. All the best, bye-bye.